We're in a compressor station uh, right now, uh, a mainline compressor station. In our pipelines, we, you would normally just find natural gas. We do have uh, some lines that will move what we would consider sour gas, which is uh, gas that has a hydrogen sulfide content to it. Uh, those lines are taken in and, and they're moved into a treater facility and we treat those, that gas, pull the hydrogen sulfide out, which just leaves a methane gas, which is what typically people would call natural gas. And that'll be moved on down the line to a manufacturing or, or a city. Natural gas itself is flammable. Um, it, it's, it's, it's lighter than air, so it's generally going to go up in the air and, and will be dispersed by the wind if there's a breeze that day. The main warning signs of a gas release, either its gas is blowing, if it's odorized, you're going to smell a strong odor that sometimes smells like rotten egg. If it's not odorized, you're going to see a gas blowing, or if it's in a, where it's a ditch or a creek, you're going to see water bubbling, or if it's in a dry area, you're going to see gas blowing dust up in the air and sometimes you might even see if it's a small leak you see dead vegetation around the, the center of the pipe. If anybody identifies a possible leak we ask that the public call 911 or if they are have a site of a marker post call the emergency number on the marker post. In some cases that the, if it's a, a large rupture the state troopers and the volunteer fire departments are on, already on site at that time, we set up incident command centers, and then we are joint incident command officers in that control, in that center. One night, we were called to an explosion right out on 1988, which is the farm road out here fairly close. And as it turned out, it was a 30 or 40 foot section. When we got there, we arrived, we, we knew possibly a pipeline, uh, got to looking at the, where the pipeline crosses. Uh, got the information from the sign. They will tell you most of the time there's a pipeline in this in this area. What type of product may be going through the line with with the number that you can call and then and at, at the control center. Luckily that one was was way out in, in the woods and there was no surrounding people. So what we did we just set up with the uh, fire departments, the sheriff's office, the emergency management coordinators. Uh, we, we set up a perimeter to the roads leading into it. Back then there was no incident command uh, set up, but because of, of the small community that we're in, we still, you know, try to work well, well together. But now with the training and everything that we've gone through with TEKS, uh, you know, we, we really know how uh, to set up the incident command and it works real well. We're, we're great to have it now.